Welcome. Uh, today I'm out at Muirfield Village Golf Club and it's a beautiful day as you can see. Uh, maybe a little breezy and then maybe that's why you're hearing some of the wind uh, uh, come through the, uh, uh, the uh, video. But uh, uh, just one quick announcement. Uh, we're getting close to uh, the end of the period as many of you are getting close to finishing this class. Keep that date in time uh, when you must have everything finished in mind. Uh, the second thing is uh, uh, some of you threw uh, 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 either a module or extra credit have been exposed to uh, uh, the one uh, James Bond uh, section I have which uh, uh, refers to the involvement with golf. This year marks the 60th anniversary of James Bond and in that uh, honor or in the honor of those movies Stern Pinball has come out with a new James Bond uh, pinball game. Now to many of you you may not even know what pinball is but for somebody of my age uh, or maybe a little younger and also a little older pinball was extremely popular when I was in college or growing up and uh, whether you went to a bar or you went to do your laundry uh, in a laundromat you would uh, come across pinball games and it was a great way to pass the time and, and a lot of fun and pinball uh, was popular through for most people through uh, 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 probably the mid 90s and then has fallen away uh, in favor, at least in uh, commercial types of uh, settings. They're not as prevalent as they used to be. Actually, the largest market now, I believe, for pinball machines is individuals, people who, uh, who buy them. And guess what? Uh, the target market is usually uh, people or usually males over the age of 50. So what's that have to do with this class besides uh, uh, the uh, uh, extra credit that I sometimes give or the section you have to do on uh, James Bond and golf is that uh, I do have an extra credit question for you that if you answer it and send it to me I'll uh, randomly add two points to one of your quizzes which will enhance your grade and uh, that has to do with uh, Royal St. George um, when Ian Fleming was writing these James Bond books and, and he started them in I believe in 1956 and then he passed away in 1964 that uh, um, he was an avid, avid golfer and James Bond in some of the early movies like Goldfinger played golf and matter of fact, James Bond carried a handicap of nine, which happened to be the same handicap that Ian uh, Fleming carried. Fleming was a member at Royal St. George, which has hosted in the past uh, the Open Championship and things like that. And so it's a very interesting course. You'll see that in that James Bond uh, uh, section or and work through that but my question for you if you send me an email telling me the year that that course opened and the uh, the golf course architect who designed Royal St. George and when it opened I'll give you two points as extra credit 